What's going on guys? This is Declaration and today I'm going to talk about how my tow rig did on coming down to Florida. Um, my 2021 GMC Sierra with the 1500 with the uh, 3 liter diesel. So overall I'm very pleased with it. Um, there was one issue that I was experiencing and I did take it to the dealership to have them check it out It looked like I had a major diesel exhaust fluid leak and You could look under the frame rails and it was like uh, crystallization um, on both the frame rails and I don't anyone that has dealt with death before knows like when it gets exposed to like the atmosphere it like crystallizes and You can't see it now because I had the dealership clean it off but there is a ton of buildup on this frame rail right here and on the other side of just like the crystalline. I was experiencing that. Um, I don't, I was, I went through a lot of death on the trip down here, but I was pulling a lot of weight. Uh, and um, I don't, I've never pulled with a modern diesel, so I don't even know like if that was normal consumption. But in about just under a thousand miles, I went through probably about seven gallons of death pulling just under 7,000 pounds so I'm not sure if that's normal maybe you guys will tell me um, but yeah other than that um, it was pretty truck did well when I took it to the dealership and I thought I had a leak they pressure tested it and they said yeah there's no leaks from anywhere and they were saying that I overfilled it now with this truck, I'll show you guys that um, you can, um, there's a setting where you can look and see the def level. So right here, there's a setting. So that's my def setting. It tells you what your def level is. I wouldn't fill, uh, I had, I got two and a half gallon containers and this is a five gallon def tank. So I wouldn't fill it until it got to about the third from the empty bar. And when I was done filling it, it got to about this bar. I think one time it got to the last bar, but it to the second to last bar, but it never got to the last bar. I only put two and a half gallons in and they say this is a five gallon tank. So either it's not a five gallon tank and their meter uh, is completely wrong or I didn't overfill it. So I think there actually may be an issue with my filler neck because that's the only way I can imagine that is uh, that it was leaking like that. And I did, um, after I had the dealership check it out, I had them clean it up, and I have driven the truck a few hundred miles since then, uh, probably two or three hundred miles, and I still haven't, I haven't seen any crystalline buildup under the truck, so I do think it's in the filler neck. Uh, but other than that, the truck did amazing. I did install um, airlift uh, helper bags. Well, I had a, a company install them. Um, and with the onboard compressor and I'll show you, um, show you how that compressor works as well it's pretty awesome I, I really enjoy it but you can set the pressure anywhere from 5 to 100 pounds sorry about that so if I want to drop it down and you can hear the bags deflate and then if I want to pump it up with this truck, uh, one of the known issues that it has is the uh, shocks are not the greatest. I know a lot of people, especially for they doing towing or anything like that, they immediately change these out for the Bilstein 5100 shocks, um, in which I kind of experienced that. Um, in order to get the trailer to kind of sit level and everything where the back end of the truck isn't really sagging, I had to put about 40 PSI uh, into the bags, and these have a range from 5 to 100 PSI. But I notice after about driving 10, 15 minutes, whenever I go over a bump, the back end get real squirrely, bounce all around and everything like that. It felt like um, the shocks were like bottoming out and it was just a little crazy. So I put about 60 to 70 pounds and then it was perfectly controllable, smooth. It was a very comfortable drive at that point. So I recommend the helper bags for anyone with these trucks. Uh, if, if you don't replace the shocks, um, which I'm probably going to end up replacing the shocks anyways. 
Hey guys, uh, sorry, um, the bugs got really, really loud towards the end of that video. Um, but pretty much my review of the truck was, if I were to give it an out of 10 rating, I would say a, nine out of, a solid 9 out of 10. I was thoroughly pleased with how it performed, um, how it pulled the weight. It definitely you could tell that the weight was there but <laughs> but it definitely got up to speed um in a reasonable amount of time even pulling that trailer with all that weight it it performed very well like honestly i would recommend it to anyone uh, the only thing i would say is the um the shocks aren't the greatest on it and like it's a known issue a lot of people talk about it on the forums and even completely unloaded like if you go over a bump uh, at speed or like on a highway the whole back end will jump around and everything so yeah you uh, other than that thoroughly pleased um one other thing i want to talk about uh i know everyone is really looking forward to me getting back to work on the hot rod truck and trust me I am as well. <laughs> like I am dying to get back work on that. that. And uh, just right now, this there's a lot of moving parts that I've had to do and accomplish just to get down to Florida. Um, the logistical nightmare of getting four vehicles plus, well, five vehicles because the girlfriend's car as well. Um, our entire household and pretty much a three week notice so all of this happened I found out three weeks before I had to be down here working yeah so <laughs> it's been a little hectic and trying to get everything out and I I do apologize that it has been a little bit since we've been working on the hot rod truck but it's coming soon right now i'm in the process of cleaning out the garage um that should be the next video um i've made a lot of good progress so that definitely should be really soon um other than that yeah thank you guys for coming along this journey with me um if you like this type of content Hit that like button, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, and comment, tell me what your thoughts are, and have a good one, guys. Peace.